Homelessness in the Roanoke Valley, it's a problem in plain sight. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacks Timer is working for you to explain what the city is doing to help people and why some say there's still more that needs to be done. She has tonight's special report. On the sidewalks, in the medians, and even the woods, it's not hard to see that the city of Roanoke has a problem. According to the latest point in time count in 2021, Blue Ridge Interagency Council on Homelessness estimates there are 250 people experiencing homelessness in the Roanoke Valley. It's not an anti-homeless position that I'm taking. It's a pro-Roanoke decision. In an effort to address concerns from business owners, back in December, City Council voted to ban camping on sidewalks in the downtown district of the city. The same sidewalks where many people experiencing homelessness laid their head at night. The goal was also to help connect these individuals with housing and other services. Nearly six months later, city manager Bob Cowell is calling it a success. In that case, it's worked. I mean, everyone, all the encampments that were downtown um, left um, and, and are no longer present. Um, we haven't fined nor arrested anyone, as we had indicated would be the case, that it's really about compliance. But that ordinance has just shifted the problem, moving people from these downtown sidewalks to setting up camps under bridges, overpasses, and wooded areas, still visible to the public eye. We drove around the city and found camps near the airport and many people standing in medians. To put the problem into perspective, between 2020 and 2021, the point in time number of people experiencing homelessness only decreased by 9%, from 276 people in 2020 to 250 people last year. Community partners like Don Sandoval, the founder of the Least of These Ministries, disagrees with those numbers. Do you agree with that statistic? Not at all. Not at all. We have seen an increase exponentially just at our building in the last year. She says there are still countless barriers that need to be addressed. One of the main barriers is mental health. The second large barrier is addiction and many times they go hand in hand. People like Joshua Haley understands the struggle all too well. Just a year ago, he was unsheltered sleeping on Church Avenue in Roanoke. Mainly I stayed on the street. Uh, I didn't really go to the mission because it wasn't for me. Um, I experienced PTSD and I've had a you know struggle with addiction and stuff like that. Haley says he believes homelessness stems from mental health problems, including post-traumatic stress disorder, whether from being incarcerated, serving in the military, or other experiences. A lot of people are not uh, sure, you know, like are in their safety and stuff like that, you know. So um, that's a big hurdle that I had to cross. Is um, I was uh, self-medicating a lot out there. Matt Crookshank with the city's homelessness assistance team, also known as HAT, is on the front lines, connecting those experiencing homelessness with the services they need. We're trying to make sure folks are either in shelter or, or moving back into housing. Hat's role includes going to a site where a homeless camp is and helping to relocate people and their belongings to a more permanent solution. Like the rescue mission, which has recently dropped restrictions for guests in an effort to make shelter more accessible. They can come in for the night and then head back out the next day. No questions asked. But there will always be a conversation with that individual. Recently, grants from the city have been given to organizations working towards the common goal, like $2 million to Habitat for Humanity for rehab construction and the creation of two new outreach positions for HAT. All efforts working to fix a problem the city knows exists. There's a complexity to this that isn't just a one-size-fits-all. Uh, it's, it's really kind of person by person and situation by situation. But still has a long way to go. I think you're always going to have to evolve. You're going to have to create more innovative options for people. Um, and you're going to have to understand that um, you just have to keep identifying those areas where there is lack and trying to figure out a way to meet the needs of those people. In Roanoke, Sydney Jacks Timer 10 News, working for you.